guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming new makeup releases, episode number 32. Oh my gosh, we are not done with spooky season and I am so here for it. So if you wanna chat with me about all the new makeup releases, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And if you could do me one more favor and watch this video all the way to the end, it really helps me out. And I thank you guys so, so much in advance. Without further blabbering, let's get into it. Can you tell I'm hyped? I am so, so hyped. First of all, let's start off with this look that I have on today. I am wearing the newly announced Fantasy Cosmetica Warlock palette. This was yesterday's video if you missed it. If you want to see how I created this look, then you better head on over to that video after you watch this one, of course. They're launching five lip oils. I actually picked out two shades to try out and this beautiful palette. So highly recommend checking out that video. That palette launches on the 27th and you can use my affiliate code KH Makeup to save on the Fantasy Cosmetica website. Now next we of course have my friend Angie's gorgeous collection. Hella is back and she is doing Halloween. So we have the Trick or Treat palette, the Little Ghost palette. We also have five beautiful lippies. I have them right here. I actually posted four looks with these palettes and the lippies on my YouTube channel, so if you missed out on that, highly recommend checking it out if you've been thinking about picking these palettes up. I don't think they're gonna sell out right away, but they are limited. I know Angie had mentioned that they will probably restock if it sells out, but I would say because it's a collaboration, they can't keep it in stock forever, so definitely grab these if you feel so inclined. I think these palettes are beautiful, the quality is amazing. Just watch my four looks video and I'm sure you guys will be <laughs> convinced by the end of it. So love this so much. It was sent to me from Odin's Eye and again, I am a brand affiliate. So I have a code KH Makeup. It'll save on anything other than the collabs on the Odin's Eye website. Last but certainly not least, Adept just announced that they are restocking a small amount of the Sumerian Sunset palette. So this is their, oh my gosh, this is like, fall in a palette you guys one of the hottest launches one of the best launches in my opinion from adept as well as for the fall season this is inspired by a drink i believe from the show star trek but it's so beautiful i have i think two looks with this palette and it is restocking on the 29th remember the day 29th of september it's gonna be historic because there's so many things launching restocks all of the things so I hope you guys have a pen and paper because you're going to need to write all of this information down. No, I'm just kidding. But I will definitely keep trying to remind you guys. But this gorgeous palette is restocking. And again, I am an affiliate with Adept. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys. And I want to create more looks with this palette. So I'm going to try my best to do that before the restock. But watch my video with the two looks. I feel like that alone will convince you guys. But... Those are all of the things that I kind of have with me that I wanted to mention. Now I'm going to slide on over and we're going to talk about all the new makeup. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention to you guys is on Alta's website. So I just tried this out. I bought the Hourglass Snake Palette. This is their holiday face palette and I'm wearing it today. So if you wanted to see this in action, check out yesterday's video. Stunning palette. It is now available on Ulta's website for $90 as well as the powder brush for $54 Which also has the snake packaging and I was so freaking tempted you guys you have no idea But I decided to pass on it because I don't need the brush not for that price anyway, so I don't know I think the snake palette is really really nice though And they do have the other two palettes as well if you guys are wondering which hourglass palette to get I would highly recommend checking out Morgan Turner's video on the Hourglass palette. So she really like laid everything out for me and made it super easy. 
And from watching her video, what I gathered was that if I have a medium skin tone, this is the palette you want to go for, and I'm so happy with it so far. They also have a Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm Duo, which I love that formula from Hourglass, so definitely check out that gift set. The Hourglass palettes are also available on Sephora. I just hopped on the app to see what new things were on there, and I just wanted to mention that, but... There's tons and tons of gift sets on the Sephora page and I feel like I could do a whole video just on gift sets so I'm not going to touch too too much into it but if I see any other awesome gift sets or any holiday launches I will try and link them down below for you guys. Okay so first things first from Blend Body Cosmetics they're dropping a new eyeshadow palette as well as two lip oils so the palette was just revealed at the time I'm filming this it's the Sickly Sweet. She's sweet as can be until she can't. The request for a fully pastel palette has been consistent and persistent. Every time I open up questions in my stories, I'm asked at least five times if I'll be doing a full pastel palette. So I obviously had to. So when I started to design this palette, I realized gradients were necessary. And that was incredibly freeing and fun to me. I love the more chaotic feel. And for the theme, the usual things came to mind. Ethereal, clouds, fairies, unicorns, bubbles. It wasn't what I wanted for my pastels, so it hit me. Sugar, cotton candy, frosting, cutesy pastries, ruffles, and all things precious. But what good are only pastels without a few deepening shades? Thank you, Maggie. I knew we could count on you to save the day with those pastels <laughs> and give us some deepening up tones. I threw in a deep gray, some dusty deep tones, and others that felt right. And the twist developed cutesy, sugar-fueled, party gone wrong, belly aches, temper tantrums, and blues, and grumpiness. Sickly Sweet was born, and adding the little skull in the cotton candy, absolute cherry on top of my creative high. I love this. I love the inspiration. $44. This is launching on the 29th, and then the lip oils are going to be $12 each. Now, we have seen lip oils before from... Blend Bunny, but we have some sickly sweet shades. So we've got a blue and we have a black. The black shade's called Black Sugar. The blue shade is called Sugar Spun. I believe there's a delay on the black. So she said she was sending me the palette as well as the blue and then she was going to add the black shade later. I will take anything. No worries here, but I cannot wait to play with this palette. I feel like somebody finally heard me. Listen, I'm not the one out here asking for pastel palettes, but when Blend Bunny did Sugar and Grunge, I was like, this is a pastel palette that works for me. And now she's giving me even more and I'm here for it. Maybe she will make me a pastel eyeshadow girly. We'll wait and see. The jury's still out, but I'm so hyped for this collection. Next we have from Sigma Beauty. They launched these now. I did have swatches on my Instagram. I posted a reel, but these are available now. These are the hydrating lip creams, and they're so hydrating. Love them so much. Beautiful shades. Check out my reel if you're interested in seeing swatches. And I want to mention this really quick. I don't know if the sale is going to still be happening when I post this video. If it isn't, I'm going to take this out of the video, and you're never going to see it. But they're having a major sale on their Makeup by Shayla collab. They did a brush set, an eye brush set. So if you always wanted to try Sigma brushes, it's on sale for $22.25. And I've been watching the price drop. And today I spotted the lowest price I've ever seen. So if you use the code FASTEST, and I will throw up a screenshot for you guys. I actually bought two of these brush sets because it's an amazing deal. It drops the price to $13.35 and it includes free shipping. So $13.35 and then some people had to pay tax. I think it was maybe like under $15 for a Sigma brush set. And I have this brush set because Sigma did send it to me and the quality is so there. So if you've been wanting to try Sigma, now is your chance. I feel like that's the price of one of their brushes, so it's quite the steal. And then we have from one of my favorite brands, Lethal Cosmetics. They are a German indie brand. They're launching their 2UP palette, and they're also launching water-activated liners. And there was something else. I saw their reveal video. So yeah, they have the brand new 2UP palette with 10 new shades. There's duochromes 
and lots of beautiful like neon shades so I'm excited for that 10 water activated liners an activator drop thingy so if you want to activate the water liners you can buy the catalyst activator drops and then we have nail stickers and a really cool face gems and a nine pan palette called the constellation palette so that is for their like build your own palettes if you want to buy nine shadows to put in there but they did post a video showing the entire collection typically i do get pr from lethal i haven't heard if i'm gonna get this collection but either which way go check out their video this collection is dropping on friday september 29th at 16 cest which is 10 a.m eastern time i feel like i have a tip if you haven't announced a launch change the date if you were going with the 29th change the date because there's so much stuff coming out i anticipate that people are going to be so overwhelmed <laughs> so anyway i just wanted to mention that and then i saw that mac showed their holiday collection so, so this is their bizarre blizzard holiday 2023 so there is a palette with 12 shades it's a really pretty like cool tone palette so that looks really cool i haven't seen mac do color like that in a while unfortunately i feel like i've fallen out of love with their eyeshadow formula so automatically it's going to be a pass for me there's also eye pencils mono shadows there's six pan eyeshadow palettes there's lipsticks with metallic overlays matte lipsticks highlighters and a cooling blurring primers so we're gonna do a little experiment on my channel let me know how long you've been watching beauty youtube or beauty instagram i'm so curious because i always refer back to having been a fan of this platform for so so long and having a youtube channel for so so long and so i always say like oh i remember when mac collections used to be like the it thing and the mac website would crash and they would launch things at like really weird times so that the websites wouldn't crash but they were impossible to get a hold of and the mac holiday collections and their limited edition collections used to be like so coveted and now i'm just like meh next <laughs> i'm not interested next so i mean i feel like they did a really cool job i think this is a collection that might appeal to the masses so in that case i think they nailed the assignment but I'm just so in love with indie brands right now that it is a quick and easy skip for me. Next we have from RMS. I feel like they're kind of like one of my little like unsung favorite brands. They're launching the Legendary Serum Lipstick. So this is a lipstick, lip serum, lip stain hybrid with eight hours of hydration. There are some beautiful shades. A lot of them are kind of like red pink leaning. So I'm going to be skipping on this, plus I'm not supposed to be buying lip products anyway. So I just wanted to mention it to you guys because I love their Redimension blushes. And so every once in a while, I just like keep an eye on them and I did notice that they were launching a new lip product. We have these cuties from Kim Shi Chic Beauty. These are the Jewel Collection 9 pan palettes. We have four different ones. So... There's like rubies, emeralds, sapphires, and I'm guessing the black ones are diamonds. I'm not sure. I'm actually, well, I guess it's called a jewel collection, so it is gemstone inspired. I think these palettes do have pressed glitters in them. I have tried Kimchi Chic Beauty in the past, and they're a fine brand. Definitely not like one of my favorites where I need to buy like every single thing that they come out with, but it's cute. It's fun. It's going to be a skip for me though for now. And then I saw the full reveal. This is the Salem Cosmetics Grunge Life Palette. Super grungy, super dark. I've never tried anything from this indie brand, but I just wanted to mention because I did see that they did a reveal. So BK Beauty actually collabed with Angie Hot and Flashy for a travel set with pouch. This is $130. I actually used one of the Hot and Flashy brushes today. So this is very, very cool. Stocked with five travel size Angie brushes. This luxurious vegan leather pouch offers convenient storage on the go or as a standard brush cup for your vanity. So basically it looks like all of the brushes that she had in her previous collection, they turned them into travel sizes and included it in this cute pouch. I think I bought the Angie set myself. Anyway, I love the concealer brush and 
I love the little detail brush I was using in today's video. I don't know where I put it. My desk is an insane mess, but this is available now on the BK Beauty website and you can grab it there if you are interested. We also have from Sugar Drizzle, they ninja dropped this palette. So this is the, what is this palette called? I don't even know. It's the new shadow palette launching and it is a collaboration with a amazing artist named Hello Lily. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I will try and link their Instagram account down below for you guys. But there is a palette for $48 and a palette and vegan scarf bundle for $60. So this is what the palette looks like. It's like goth mermaid themed. Very cool, very neon, very vibrant. There's some mattes, some shimmers. I was contemplating picking this palette up because you guys love sugar drizzle here on my channel. But I am so inundated with palettes anyway. I probably wouldn't have time for it, so I just wanted to mention it in case you guys had missed this one, which would have been pretty easy to do because there's so many things dropping. Then we have from What's Up Beauty, they are launching this collection. I mean, it's a highlighter. I don't think they've shown the inside, but I did receive these in PR, and I've seen other people get it in PR, and they have been reposting the story, so... I guess it's okay to show what they are launching, but they haven't announced it yet. So I don't want to like say it and like ruin it because I've accidentally done that before with them. Yeah, they're coming out with two highlighters and I think these are also launching on the 29th. Yes, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So just wanted to mention that. We also have a sneak peek. I found this on Hot Fire Makeup. This is the ABH new Glow Seeker Highlighter as well as mini versions of the Modern Renaissance and the Sultry palette. Now I think this is actually genius because the Modern Renaissance is iconic and people are constantly, constantly leaving me comments of how they wish they hadn't missed out on the Sultry palette. So I think it makes sense to bring these back as a mini. They don't need to be as big as they were or have that rectangular packaging. I think it's smart that they made it a square, easy to travel with, and all of that with the hard plastic cases. So yeah, I'm excited for these. I don't foresee myself buying the eyeshadow palettes, but I think I mentioned on my previous videos that I am planning on buying that highlighter because I love collecting those. We also have from Jolie Beauty, they are launching something, a freaky Halloween collection. I just thought this little preview was so cute with the Ferris wheel and stuff. So I know they don't release a ton of stuff. They're an indie brand based out of the UK. I do have a few of their palettes and my friend Heather actually got me into this brand. So I just wanted to mention, and I forgot to talk about this in my last episode, episode 31, but we have a sneak peek from Cosmic Brushes and I think I'm getting this in PR. But all we see right now is the black packaging and it says gothic on it and I'm really, really hopeful. I have like a vision of what this palette might be in my mind. I don't want to say in case I'm wrong. I don't want to embarrass myself on the internet more than I already do. So I'm not going to say it, but I'm so excited because you guys know this is one of my favorite indie brands as well. So I wanted to mention that to you guys. Okay, we also have a sneak peek from Patrick Ta Beauty. So they are launching a multi-dimensional eye topper in Giving Luxury and Giving Rich. Honestly, I'm not really into these. They're basically loose pigments from Patrick Ta. I guess it's kind of a unique thing to have at Sephora, but it's going to be a quick pass for me. We also have this really cute collection from Hard Candy. I sometimes get hard candy PR. I don't know if I'm going to get this in PR because it's like full-blown Halloween season already. But this is their collection with Wednesday and I think it's so cute. I know my friend Leah Janae, she does like Walmart shop videos and she actually showed this collection and I thought it was so cute. So there's some really fun little palettes, there's some eyeliners, there's quite a few different products. If you're into the show, it would be fun to pick it up. And we have from Dyson, Ugh. the way I wish I could trade in all my Dyson tools for this ceramic pop collection. It has that like vintage color palette to it, but these are so cute. I have the air wrap. I also have the Dyson straightener. It's literally over there charging right now because I use it when I straighten my hair for videos, but this is so cute. So they have 
the air wrap for $599.99, the hair dryer for $429.99. I will link it down below because I did peek at it on the Dyson website. We also have from ColourPop, they launched the 1111 collection. I don't know what the story behind 1111 is other than like November 11th. I almost thought my daughter was going to be born on 1111. But if you remember last year, I launched my collab with Sigma on 1111. I didn't want to choose my kid's birthday, so I just chose like a few days before. And I have this weird thing with numbers. So I was really hoping that her birthday was going to be 11 11 21, but it actually ended up being 11 13. So anyway, nobody cares, nobody asks, but <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys that story. But they launched a 11 11 collection, includes your On the Right Path eyeshadow palette for $18. We have some beautiful blushes, we have some lipsticks, we've got some shadow sticks. And this is already available on the ColourPop website. Anything that I can link for you guys, I will put in a pinned comment down below. Helps you guys shop. I just number everything. So I just go from like one and all the way down just to kind of keep it organized. So hopefully that'll help you guys out. But I will link this collection down below. This is like a neutral lover's dream. I again saw quite a few people that get ColourPop PR kind of compare this to the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. Now, I don't have this palette. I don't have any plans to buy this palette, but it looks beautiful. I think it doesn't really need to be compared to Natasha Denona, in my opinion. It looks like a beautiful palette. Those blushes, you know that orange shade. My heart's like pounding for that, but I don't need it. So I'm going to pass and some beautiful, beautiful brown lipsticks. So I am a little bit sad because I was on the ColourPop PR list for like a minute and I don't know like if I did something wrong or what happened. I haven't gotten PR for them. I think since I got the like the hot and something like mega palette and that palette was so beautiful. So I'm a little bit sad. I'm a little bit sad. I did just place a ColourPop order recently. So I did film with that. I did the most hideous look. And I think I'm going to post it. Like if the video makes sense and the flow is good, I'm going to post that video. But Oh my god, I hated that eye look, so you guys will have to keep an eye out for that. We also have, from Summer Fridays, they launch a new flavor of their Lip Butter Balm in Sweet Mint. This looks beautiful. Honestly, I've tried these Summer Friday bombs, and I don't get the hype with them. I feel like a lot of people enjoy them, but I, I just don't get it, so it's a skip for me. We also have, from Kaali, they're launching the Odegasm Collection. And this is interesting. I think this is such a good idea. So basically they're launching like four versions of Ode and then you like finish the sentence. So there's Odegasm Vanilla, Odegasm Rose, Odegasm Tobacco, and Odegasm Cafe. I low-key would love to smell Tobacco and Cafe because Tobacco has Mandarin, Clary Sage, White Honey, Saffron, Patchouli, like all of that tobacco. That sounds amazing. And then Cafe is Bergamot, Mandarin, Cappuccino, like some of my favorite fragrances. So those two sound interesting. I'm not really into rose fragrances and I'm not really into vanilla either, but those two sound super duper cool. I will say for me, Kaali has a very, very strong perfumes and I always try to get on board with their fragrances, but usually it kind of gives me a bit of a headache. So I, I don't know if I'm going to like them or not, but... I'm definitely going to head on over to Sephora and smell them. So yeah, keep me posted if you guys were interested in that as well. We have from Shantakai, they're launching the Precious Metals Collection. So there is a lip product, a powder, an eye shimmer, a gloss, a glow powder, and a brush. I always feel like I am just not in that tax bracket. And the products look absolutely beautiful, but there's no way those things are going to show up on me. So it's going to be an easy skip. We also have a sneak peek of Wet n Wild Scooby-Doo Glow in the Dark collection. So this is so cute. I love buying Wet n Wild collections. They've done some really good collaborations and I'm here for some of them. So I think this is cute. I don't see myself buying this right now because I just bought their Sesame Street and then I bought... Something else, their Alice collection, I bought the PR box. It wasn't that good, but this Scooby-Doo collection is very, very adorable. So 
Keep an eye out for that at your local Walmart so you might be able to find it. Okay, something I just want to remind you guys that's also launching on the 29th, which I've talked about in multiple new makeup releases videos, Ensley Rain is launching their Harvest Moon collection on the 29th at 9.30 a.m. as well. I do have a code with them if you want to save on their palette. Looks beautiful. We also have from Unearthly. Their Devour Halloween collection is also available now for pre-order. So it says, Devour is a makeup collection for the untamed tag a Halloween obsessed friend in the comments that needs to get their claws on the new Devour collection. It's available for pre-order right now and you can use the code Cage makeup on the Unearthly website. I believe I either bought this or she's sending it to me. I think I bought it. I can't remember, but I'm very, very excited because it looks beautiful. I wish it was already here because I am so ready for all of the Halloween collections. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to round off this video and then I'm going to realize that I forgot to talk about something and then I'm going to beat myself up for the rest of the week that I forgot to mention it but I did my best I really really did so hopefully I didn't forget to mention any of the launches that I'm so so looking forward to like I said at the start the warlock palette video is already live on my channel so check that out if you're interested I should also have a new video with the blend bunny collection as soon as that gets in my hands and I feel like I have some other stuff that's heading my way that I can't quite recall at this present moment in time. But I hope you guys enjoyed this new makeup releases video. Let me know what products you are excited about in this week. What are you planning on buying? Are you passing on anything? Do you just want to rave or rant about something? Let me know down in the comments. I love chatting to you guys and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye for now.